welcome. Uh, this is my 2021 tools, so how I start in the next year uh, with ACC and uh, yeah, I just show what uh, kind of uh, items I'm using. And uh, yeah, this is my my new car for the next year. I uh, going back to the McLaren. I have a massive snail in the in the back. Um, of course, we have a monster logo, Team Snail Sports in the tail. Uh, my my logo on the on the roof and of course I need to have the ghost uh, I use this because just why not the the shell is used on the McLaren uh, Formula 1 car but uh, use the, the red white red uh, yeah that's it so first um, I have a um, tool called the uh, sim hub and for SimHub, um, I'm using some extensions, but mostly everything is located in the uh, race department. Uh, I have uh, some some tiny tools, so basically they show the car front of me and behind me with a much bigger precision than in the left side. So if you see, I already have the, the gap between the car front of me and behind me, and in the left side, when you are in the ACC menu, you cannot see uh, the distance at all until you're not hitting the, the first uh, uh, first point or so first sector. So at the moment, before the, the race even started, I already have the, the accurate data of the, the distance. And if you see in the middle of the mirror, I'm using uh, an extra dome for SimHub. So this helps me to memorize the names of the corners, and uh, yeah, I can turn it off, but uh, we are in paddock hill now, and when you're going and overtaking someone, they're just changing the name, I will... Yeah, this is bot, so... Scorching. And if you see the... The delta calculation between me and the cars behind me, it's much more precise. Um, this is just maybe useful, maybe not. Um, I will definitely use this one. Um, the other things, if we go in back to Sim Hub, the other things what I'm using is uh, one edited dashboard. I'm using this on my mobile phone. I mean, this for for windowed mode. So this will shows my tire pressure my fuel on my mobile phone behind my steering wheel uh, my traction control traction control 2 engine map abs track condition also they shows uh, my brake bias uh, if i'm low on fuel they show a low fuel if i'm if i'm doing quality and my lap is uh, not valid they have an invalidated lap here and front and behind this is the same uh, what you can see in game in the corner, lap number and position. Also, I have a, a rev uh, reminder, so it's blinking with red when I need to need to shift up the speed and always the the data. So if I gaining or losing time, I'm always watching this. So this from SimHub definitely useful. And the tools what I'm using for for standings is from uh, Diroki. Uh, not the Twitch uh, standings, but he has a uh, other one with uh, with some other uh, details. So it's a relative uh, timer. You can get it from uh, Dan Suzuki's uh, Discord. It's free. It's amazing. Uh, the the dash that I'm using is this uh, ACC iRacing All in One dash. So if you're coming to this dash. I just changed a little bit. So you have this panel that shows you the track con uh, condition. So it's optimum. They have tire remaining. The race at the moment is start. I always see this in the top, so it's it's not important. The optimum I need to go to the separate menu, so it's definitely an information what I need. If you go to the next page, you have the few remaining. Uh, how many? Uh, what's your fuel consumption per lap, and what's your fuel per uh, fuel remaining? or laps remaining this information definitely I need and uh, for the next one I have the tire pressure and uh, 
break temperature. For break temperature, I cannot do anything with it. I have crew chief. Uh, I will show that one. So crew chief will tell me if front or rear brake is uh, is hot. So I change the brake bias uh, based on that. But it's it's not something what I need to monitor. So for this reason, I just put here all of the fuel uh, details. So I have fuel left and and everything. So I just uh, combine this page plus this page, and this is what I'm using. And this dash also has one extra information. So they have uh, positions, uh, name, uh, car number, which lap is the the addition car, and last lap time plus the data and the data is the same more uh, accurate not the, the built-in one this is using an additional DLL so it, it it's a very useful but in mid-race maybe this is not the best uh, to use uh, very often I, I just uh, going to one page on my on my phone and I'm just watching the tire pressure fuel this time and the data data is the most important what I'm using but this dash is is amazing. I will I will give you a link in uh, uh, for for a race department, and you can download it from the miss section from from ACC. It's it's definitely a good tool. So if you have SimHub, uh, if you don't have the the license, it's uh, updating six times a second. If you have the license, it's 60 FPS, so it's like instant when you need to uh, switch and everything. So it's it's just a very good tool. If you're going back to, to my browser, the other tool what I want to show you is SimSource. So SimSource has uh, a download section. You need to download this alpha uh, SimSource client, and this we're running in your background when you're racing and what is the the same thing what uh, uh, the sim hub does they're watching your memory if you have a lap time or sector time they just send it to the server and this gives you lots of lots of information from your past sessions if you do hot lapping you also have some uh, from lap times so if you if you check at the moment I'm using uh, for Monza I did some hot laps and uh, 151 is my fastest lap what I did and uh, I'm in the leaderboard so if you want to know you are slow I'm slow of course uh, if you slow or fast or where you are in the in the fuel chain you can use this tool to to compare yourself with uh, with other drivers in in the driver section in this uh, website you can see a uh, leaderboard who's leading who has a uh, lot of times blah 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 it's it's uh, not important and for cars you can see uh what at the moment the meta so the new mercedes uh, evo not in the list doesn't matter it's just uh, some leaderboard how many mm, people using mercedes for for, for this but it's it's really not that important for for have this uh, side but when you're going to to your own driver section you can see all of your past sessions so the only thing what you do uh, you have the sim source client sim source client login with your steam ID so you link them together and uh, you need uh, admin for, for run this one. You can click it to run automatically in your system startup and you can forget it. Um, and this is just a 0.6.1 version. Uh, it's an amazing tool. So every time when you're doing a race, you collecting data and send it to the server. So before that, I used uh, the application called ACC Results uh, Companion. And every time when they added a new feature to this tool, I started losing some some bits and bobs. Sometimes I have corrupted data when they have a new car, it was not working, and I and I have issues. Since I started to use SIM source, um, I don't have this issue anymore. 
so when you're coming here you can check all of your uh, practice you, all of your quality all of your hot lab sessions all of your others but other is not here because at the moment everything is uh, is captured uh, properly and if i'm going to hot lab in one panorama they show which guy you're using what was your best lab but this is like all of your sessions and if you go here i have nine pages of uh, sessions but the most important part what i'm using here is the breakdown so you have your friend he inviting you for race together in uh, monza and they want to know which car is your best in monza and how many sessions you did what's your best time how many was the wallet so 100 percent wallet 50 percent when you lose it blah 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 and uh, what's the distance what you draw with the car uh, how much consistency you have max speed uh, and the best lab so you can you can see for example in Imola I'm the most confident in any car is the McLaren 720s so in the 720s I'm I'm quite okay but I'm faster with the Ferrari but I'm still driving the McLaren because with the McLaren I'm a little bit more uh, comfortable I like to fight back I know where is the limit of the car I know when the car will skid uh, or sliding away if I hit the, the, the sausage curbs how to save it and uh, if I lost it how to try to save the car before I hit the wall so minimize my, uh, minimize my, my damage so for this uh, you can see uh, almost every every lab uh, what's your best car I have more top speed in the Jag than the McLaren but I'm still faster in the McLaren in Brands Hatch and the other thing is when you have a race for example tomorrow and you don't have time to practice you want to know how much fuel you need you just going to your race sessions so it's your own pace you will drive in Kialami with the McLaren click on it you have the sector times you have the timing so your potential best uh, for this session they show you how much uh, damage you have so you have low damage what was the track condition so it's an optimum track what was the track, temp track temperature and also you have your average fuel use so you know if you're driving and this is your own driving your own data you'll be using 2.7 liters per lap or 2.75 in the beginning and this information will be easy to you to capture because you you always need to do five laps to to capture this data but you already have all of your past uh, sessions here and maybe you you drove in Nürburgring two months ago but you you will have a one hour race you just jump in you don't have time for quality two click you will have brands hatch this is your average fuel usage per lap and also they give you performance what was your consistency average time average data max speed and the status you you drove the full race in optimum track temperature is a little bit increased and the fuel level you started with 43 and you finished it uh, 12 so you know you over fueled the car and uh, no damages here so the car was absolutely healthy and this was a race uh, what time it happened it's it's a good session for you to have it in the future and this is uh, the other things if you have your own server you can upload we just run open one random one you can upload your uh, logs server logs and you have full times how many laps who's driving there what they did and what was the lap time for them so you you can track your single player uh, server logs i think the the driver swap is not supported but uh, maybe i just uh, cannot upload it last time when i tried so this is for events so it's like a sim resort it's already working the same kind of solution in sim source but if you if you go to sim resorts for that uh, you have results here and you're just looking for one asset to Corsa you have quality time you have left time race time race to results this site 
kind of the same but uh, this has too much data and uh, I just I just like this site I, I will use this for for the future because they have lots of things here that I, I really like and in the same website they have two things uh, so you have setup difference calculator uh, I don't show this but you can imagine you will have all of your setups to uh, tire pressure everything in the left side and you have setup B when you change something or someone just sending you a new setup and you don't understand why the new setup is working fine you just put setup B there and you have all of the data between setup A and setup B and this will be an amazing tool to, to understand what others changing and why the car is uh, feels bad they have a built-in fuel, cal uh, fuel calculation so you have a 45 minutes race your average lap time is 2.24 um, and you're using 3.7 liter per lap you have a formation lap in this race and also you want to have enough fuel to do one additional lap for the post-race lap so when, when the P1 finishing his lap you still want to your full lap so you're not running out on the fuel don't want to be that guy and you have the calculation you need 76 liter this is working uh spot on so if you have 76 you can be a safe 77 and your race will be 40 uh, 20 laps uh, and the other things which you not really find anywhere else is uh, uh, i mean in in websites so you have all of the tools what you need you have your monitor your monitor is a 21 by 9 this is a 34 inch monitor you're sitting 120 centimeter away and you have a single uh, centimeter away and you have a single screen and they're calculating your horizontal and vertical fov so this helps you to set up your car properly and uh, if you go back to acc you just go to view settings FOV and you need to set it to 36 that's it and they give you uh, the details what you're looking for so for example coming to the screen view settings FOV you just set it to 36 when you're sitting the same distance uh, as me from your from your screen and uh, yeah this just works like a chump and uh, for tool wise that's it and the other things what we started to use is uh, simgrid so simgrid is a website that is working like uh, iRacing so iRacing has a community and you have races in every hour and if you go uh, here you have series you have upcoming events uh, British classic for example what I will be doing next time and you have daily racing and if you want to if you are in EU and you want to do duty free racing this is for 4 p.m. 5 p.m. 6 p.m. 7 p.m. 8 p.m. 9 10 and you have even in Christmas every hour an organized race 40 people already in Monza Mizano is almost full. You just log in with your uh, Steam account and you can see who's streaming. And when you click to maybe just your own driver, uh, you have your calculator here. If you see your own profile, you can see your own team if you have team. Uh, it's not working for some reason, but I already did uh, some other races. You can see your own team and uh, you can start racing in GT4 if they have Cup or um, uh, or the, the Lambo. You, you, you can find races, mostly GT4, GT3 and, uh, and every hour. So you have 5 o'clock, you have Zonward with GT4. Mizano and and this is cool with uh, with good drivers if someone is not behaving uh, as uh, expected you can report it and they 
maybe take action. And because everyone is registered with his own uh, Steam account, if they get a ban from because uh, they do a massacre or crashing everyone, if they get banned, they, they cannot race anymore in this league. And in here, you're just going to register. And this is a very nice uh, update. Yes, I agree. I will be careful. I try to not wrecking people. And uh, yeah, race quitting is for losers. So they are expecting people to finish in the race. And when you agree, you can also go into my sim grid. This shows you. At the moment, I started in uh, two races. These two. Uh, I did 34 total laps. I have one top 10. And this race will be my next race. If I click here and I cannot do the race, leave. And now my upcoming event is empty. And because non start is penalized, they they expecting people who joining to this uh, races to, to finish the race and enter to the race, do the full uh, start. And if you go to any GT3 event, when you click on the event, you have all of the information what you need. So this will be the lobby name, password. Uh, if you enter it, uh, you so you have your uh, Steam ID. So you cannot enter with uh, your friend's PC with his account. You need to log in with your own account. And five minutes practice, ten minutes quality, twenty-five minutes race. So basically, with everything in this order. Usually you're finishing like uh, hour 40, 45 ish. So with with the extra time, with the, the gaps between the the races, you you will have enough time to to enter to the to the next championship or next race. So you can do two, three, four hourly races in the same day. And uh, yeah, the only problem that I find sometimes the this uh, just uh, disappear if you're not going to the tools for fuel calculator. Uh, they have Coach Dave Academy setups and uh, Trustmaster and Kessel Racing with Ferrari. And for, for the next event, what we have it's a uh, British Classics, and in here you have much, much, much the more details. The only thing what is missing from here this is a 90 minutes race, so one and a half hour, and you will have three mandatory pit stops. But this race uh, will be happening, and uh, yeah, this is a single event. The schedule. Oh, sorry, it's here. So the race is 90 minutes. The weather will be extremely cold and rainy or random weather, and uh, yeah, there we have admin, and you can see uh, the driver list entered to this championship and uh, our competition. This is a single event. And we have Chris. Oh, I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah, we have Chris. And he is in uh, split four. And I'm in split six. So, yeah, this, this race will be happening in uh, next week. But, yeah, the, the site, what we're using and we will be we racing is this one. Simulating the GP is uh, also running in some part and uh, yeah we also on discord on we're doing rci grg and everyone else but if you have any question on how to get organized race this is the easiest way to, to get organized race because on simracing.gp you still need to wait for activation in here you're just going to the website click on it register your steam account you find a spot going to the server and race and every hours in europe they have an organized race so thank you for watching, thank you for being amazing and awesome, stay safe, stay cool, and see you next time.